I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. It is, it is a rainy Monday morning at 6.30. I don't know if you can see how really rainy it is just with this little panoramic view. But we are on our way for me to get my second round of chemo and more radiation. And I'm not looking forward to either of those things. <coughs> so anyway, the upshot is that in either case, I don't have a choice. Look at the pretty sky. Okay, folks, chemo round two. This is the room. Pretty spare little room. Same room, except I was in that chair last time. I know what to expect from chemo, but I have never been through it before where I also have the radiation burns. So this is going to be hell week. It's going to be uncomfortable and every little thing is irritating me. I mean, my mask hurts the back of my ears today. But I'm getting treatment and I'm beating cancer and I have to stay positive. And I remember all the positive things about being here, including how nice people are. So. All right, I'm an old pro at this now. Okay. Still terrified, but you know, at least I know what I'm terrified of. My second round of chemo, my fifth week of radiation. Pump. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same one I had the last time? Yeah. Okay. So my nurse just went to grab tape for sensitive skin because the last time I had a rash all around where the tape was. So hopefully this will keep me from having a rash. And one more small irritant taken care of. See, that needle looks awfully, okay. There is a cover over it, so. Oh, all right, all right. So the cover goes. Okay, big deep breath. <sighs> Good job. Okay. It still stings, folks. Stinks? Stings. Oh, stings. Stings. It does smell like alcohol. Yeah. Oh. How long does this sting? I forget. I didn't think it stung this long the last time. Um, it's just a couple moments. Okay. And that's the just saline. To saline flush to flush it. it. Okay. Oh, 
My mom just got um, a feeding tube on Friday. Did she? Yeah, she's, um, she's been in the hospital since last Monday. Okay. Um, and uh, she has dementia and it's pretty sad, but. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of skin prep on here. Okay. To protect her skin from that dressing. Thank you. Um, but I'm anxious to see her. I'm, it's, it's, she's at the hospital near here, so I'm going to go there and see her. And it'll be the first time I've seen the feeding tube. And my stepfather says it looks sort of like my port. I'm like, really? So it'll be interesting to see. Okay, but can I just tell you that still stings? Does it? Yeah. I mean, is that okay? It, it should subside. Okay, it, it all right. Should. I just don't remember it stinging that long. Sometimes the cleaner that's left on the skin. Sure. I'm trying this different dressing on. Yes, now. thank you for doing that. It just was so itchy the last time. And, you know, there's so many irritants right now between the burns and, you know, it just yeah. be nice if we could get that irritant out of the way. We'll try it. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. The what? You have to redress it? Yeah. Okay. Do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Um, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I love nearly everything about planning, cooking, and serving a Thanksgiving feast to my family and my friends. Um, I just love it. Um, in the last couple of years, however, um, because of taking care of mom, our gathering has become much smaller. So instead of cooking a whole turkey, I do turkey brujol, um, which is really wonderful. Stuff it with breadcrumbs and olive oil and capers and olives and um it's uh it's a delicious dish um but it requires <laughs> that you bone and butterfly um, two turkey breasts to make it and i loathe that part of the process and i have to remind myself every time i make it that it's so delicious and i really love it because i just don't want to deal with boning a turkey but I do want the brujol. So at the end of the day, um, I approached today, which was the first day of my last round of chemo, with probably less trepidation, I think, than, um, than resignation. Um, I'm already acquainted with how tired and achy these treatments can make a person, and I have been warned that they, um, the symptoms can get worse the deeper you get into treatment but you know there's no there's no getting around jumping in the deep end of it because you know I want to live so you do what you got to do if you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe and ring the bell also don't forget to call your senators and your congresspeople to demand universal health care. And most importantly, don't forget to vote.